Okay, now in this example of loan repayments, we are asked to calculate to calculate the amount that is needed to pay back a loan. Okay, so let's read it. Laura wants to take out a loan of 170,000 Rand and to pay it back over 25 years. How much will she have to pay back annually on the loan if the bank charges her an interest rate of 11.5% per annum compounded annually? So here we go. We start once again with a timeline. Here's our timeline. Okay, again, we are working with 25 years. It's a very common amount. Okay, so there we go. Every year, one, two, three, all the way up to 25 years. And the amount that she's taken out is 170,000. Is that something she's going to get in 25 years? Or is it an amount she received right now? Well, she wants to take out a loan of that much. Okay, and she wants to pay it back over 25 years so she's already received it okay or that's the idea at least is to get 170,000 which means on my timeline it is a present value and not a future value and then she's going to pay it back starting in one month's time she's going to start paying it back sorry one year's time all the way up to 25 years where, where she will make her final payment so how are we going to calculate what that payment amount is given that the interest is 11,5 percent. Well we need to use the present value of an annuity formula because that's got to do with loans. The present value of an annuity is the value of a loan that would be given for that amount. So we start by writing out our formula And make sure that you are 100% accurate when you write down your formula because you don't want to lose marks for something as silly as that. Now our stock taking. Do we know what the present value of this annuity is? Okay, of 25 payments is, what is this present value? It's 170,000. That's how much the bank was willing to give her. Okay, um, do we know how much she's paying back with? No, we don't. That's what we want to calculate. Do we know the interest rate that is being charged? And yes, we do. It's 11.5% interest. Okay, and finally, do we know how many payments she is paying back with? And we see that she's pay paying back annually for 25 years, which means there's 25 payments. And now we can go and substitute. We have, let me go down, more space. We then have 170,000 is equal to x is still unknown 1 minus 1 plus 11 over 5 percent is 100. Okay, the number of payments is 25, so we're taking negative 25 in the exponent there and we're dividing with 11,5 over 100. And with that in mind, we can simply now solve for x. And to solve x, we must multiply both sides with 11.5 over 100. And divide both sides with this top bracket. Okay, so I'm not going to write it all out. I'm going to multiply with 11.5 over 100 and divide both sides with this bracket, which is 1 minus 1 plus 11.5 over 100 to the power of negative 25. And now on this, on this side, that bracket will cancel. That bracket will cancel, and I'm just left with x is equal to and we need to calculate that. So let's see. We've got 11.5 over 100 that is multiplied with 170,000. Okay, and that whole thing is divided. And I forgot to close my bracket here. That whole thing is divided with this whole bracket of 1 minus a new bracket. 1 plus 11.5 
over 100, close that bracket, and that bracket has an exponent of negative 25. Okay, close the bracket, that's the bottom bracket, and there we go. If we click equal, we find our answer that is 20,926 and 67 cents. 20,926 and 67 cents. That's how much she must pay back annually in order to pay back 170,000 Rand over 20 years. Just for interest sake, how much will she pay back in total? How much will she pay back in total? So remember, she is going to pay X for 25 years. So the total amount is the number of payments multiplied by the amount of each payment. That will give us the total amount. Let's call it just T. That's just my own formula I'm, I've made up. Okay, so what is the total amount paid back? It's 25 times 200. 926.67 so we have 25 times 20926.67 and that gives me an answer of 523,000 wow okay 523,000 166,75 okay that's more than half a million that you have to pay back on a simple 170,000 Rand loan that you've taken out for 25 years. So a little word of caution when it comes to loans, don't do it.